Proverbs chapter five. My son, pay attention to my wisdom and incline your ear to my words, that you may keep a good understanding. And the discretion of my lips gives you a charge. Give no heed to a worthless woman. For honey drops from the lips of a harlot, who for a season pleases your palate, but afterwards you find her more bitter than gall, and sharper than a two-edged sword. For the feet of folly lead those who deal with her down to the grave with death, and her steps lay hold of hell. For she goes not upon the paths of life, but her way is unstable and not easily known. Now then, my son, hear me, and make not my words of none effect. Remove your way far from her; draw not near to the doors of her house, lest you give away your life to others and your substance to the cruel one. Lest strangers be filled with your strength, and your labors come into the houses of strangers, and you repent at last when the flesh of your body is consumed, and you shall say. How have I hated instruction, and my heart avoided reproofs? I heard not the voice of him that instructed me and taught me; neither did I apply my own ear. I was almost in total ruin in the midst of the congregation and assembly. Drink waters out of your own vessels, and out of your own springing wells. Should your springs be dispersed, as streams of water in the streets? Let your children be only your own, and let not the children of strangers partake with you. Let your fountain of water be your own, and rejoice with the wife of your youth. Let her be as the loving hind and pleasant roe, and let her be considered your own. Let her breast satisfy you at all times, for ravished with her love, you shall be greatly increased. Be not intimate with a strange woman. Neither fold yourself in the arms of a woman not your own, for the ways of a man are before the eyes of the Tanzani, and he looks on all his paths. Iniquity is a snare of man, and every one is bound in the chains of his own sins. Such a man dies with the uninstructed, and he is cast forth from the abundance of his own substance, and has perished through folly. Get the book Sunset to Sunset, our Bantu calendar, and discover more about Bantu people's culture, languages, spirituality, and migration history, as evidence to prove without a shadow of a doubt that Bantu people are the original biblical Israelites. Learn about the original timekeeping of the ancient calendar of Sabbaths, new moons, and feast days, as these factors unveil the true location of the Promised Land. Find the book on Amazon and on YouBuy for people in Africa. Email the author at yahundabadakane at gmail.com.